Hi, I'm Dr. Sandy Chuan, and today I'm going to teach you how to use your growth hormone. You may have been asked by a physician to use growth hormone as part of your IVF treatment protocol. And just as a reminder, growth hormone is a medication that is meant to help improve the quality of the eggs, but it is not responsible for the stimulation of follicular development or the maturation of the eggs. Um, so it's not going to improve the number of eggs you retrieve, but hopefully it will help to improve the quality of what you produce. So growth hormone comes in many different brands. Um, so depending on the pharmacy um, and sometimes on cost, um, you know, you may be dispensed either Sizin or Omnitrope are two very common brands, um, but you may simply hear us refer to it as growth hormone, which is kind of the general name for it. Um, and when the growth hormone comes, you're gonna usually get it um, you know, in two vials. One is going to be a vial of just fluid and the other is the powder which actually contains the medication. So you will need to mix the two in order to have um, your growth hormone that you can inject. So typically it's gonna come with a whole vial of fluid and then the pharmacy is also gonna give you two needles. It's gonna give you this larger needle and then a small insulin syringe. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take um, this larger needle to use that to mix um, the growth hormone. I'm not gonna actually open this, but what you will do when you get it is open um, this bottle, clean it with an alcohol swab. You'll always wanna clean before you put any needle in. And then you will turn the fluid upside down um, just so that you could draw it up easily. And you will put the needle in and make sure the needle tip is staying within the fluid. You don't wanna draw up a bunch of air bubbles. Um, and so go ahead and draw up one ml of the fluid, okay? That's what you will need to mix your growth hormone. Now, um, the other thing is to make sure that if you do get some air bubbles, don't worry, you can always push it back in, you know, push the air back in and then just draw it over again. It's not, not a big deal if that happens, but try to make sure that you're getting just one ml of fluid. And then once you get that one ml of fluid, you will pop open the bottle with the powder, clean the top, and then go ahead and put all of the fluid in. And then you wanna gently swirl it so that the powder can mix and you wanna make sure all of the powder dissolves. I think it, it should be pretty easy. Most of the time it dissolves very, very easily, but again, just double check. Do not shake it you know, vigorously because that will create a lot of air bubbles um, and we wanna try to avoid that. Now, if you do get some air bubbles, no big deal. Just let it sit for a while. Usually those bubbles will go away on their own and it's not a problem, um, but you just do wanna make sure that um, before you draw it up that most of those bubbles have settled. So once you have that, make sure that your growth hormone has been kept in the refrigerator and that after you mix it, remember to put it back in the refrigerator so that you can have the optimal conditions for storage to retain its potency. Um, now, once you have that growth hormone, what you will do is you will get out your insulin syringe. Usually insulin syringes are orange capped and um, it comes in two forms, one with 50 units and then sometimes you'll get a bigger needle that has 100 units, but regardless, both of them will be marked clearly on the side with units. Um, you'll see the marking, there's two, two types of markings. One is for units and then the other is for ML. You will wanna find the side that is marking units um, and it'll actually say at the very bottom units, okay? So um, all of you are gonna, may have different protocols. There's many different ways, um, protocols for using growth hormones. So you might have a different amount. It's not standardized. Um, and so you'll wanna make sure you look at your treatment calendar to make sure you know the dose that you are supposed to be using. Um, and so a common you know, um, amount is to start with about seven units. And so what you will do when, that, when you're due to inject is to get your bottle of the mixed growth hormone. Again, you wanna turn the fluid upside down, um, clean the top, put the needle in, make sure the needle tip is staying within the fluid, and then draw up your seven units. Now, when you're doing a very small amount like that, it can be hard to see you know, these units and you may be just a teeny bit off, but this is meant more as a supplement. So if you're just a little bit over or a little bit under, it is not going to cause any detriment to your treatment cycle. So please do not um, be overly stressed about that. Obviously do your best to try to be accurate, but I know that that can be difficult at those lower um, units. And then mid-cycle, or sometimes people don't start until mid-cycle, you may be asked to do a higher amount. 
um, and that may be 35 units, that may be 50 units. And so those are easier to see. And then so that, you know, when you are using those doughs, you just draw up the amount um, and then you will obviously clean your skin. Usually the growth hormone is supposed to go subcutaneously. And the most common place that we teach you to do injections is in this abdominal area where we all have a little bit of extra tissue usually. So what you'll wanna do is clean the area um, and then maybe pinch and then inject, okay? And then obviously push in all the full amount of what you have drawn up. And then you're done and you'll wanna make sure that you put whatever is remaining back in the refrigerator so that you can um, have a potent bottle that you can use the next time. If you should, you know, run out, obviously, then you would just take out, let's say you only got 20 units left out of this bottle and you needed 50, you would just mix another bottle um, and then draw up the remaining amount. Um, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.